Hey guys, before the episode starts, I just gotta say, um, this episode might get a little boring. Um, I, I, I'm packing for tour and, and I wanted to show you my way of doing it. It's kind of unique and it's kind of like interesting. I'm gonna give you like a, a guide. Um, kind of all day, I've, I've been watching Tested, that, that's Tested with Adam Savage. I love that channel. Love that channel. I'll link them down below. But, um, so, so I've been kind of like in that mode recently, so if it does get a little boring, just keep in mind I was thinking of that while doing this video, um, so it might just get a little like boring and tedious, but if you're like on the road a lot or you have to pack for a gig or a tour or to go do something, this might help you a lot, so uh, th th uh, en enjoy the video. Welcome to the episode today. In this episode, I'm in front of I'm in front of two uh, Pelican cases, both set up for the, the the gig this weekend. I have the band's initials here. This is not the name of the band; these are the initials of the band. I'm not going to mention them because I don't know if they really want me to mention them here on the vlog. So I'll keep them uh, anonymous for now. These this is all the video, all the camera stuff. This is all the tech because I'm doing guitar tech as well. I'll explain that. This is extra guitar tech stuff, but. Obviously, this here is my laptop. I'm going to show you exactly how I pack for a tour and how to make a packing list that is interactive. So, um, there's drop down menus, there's yes and no, it color coordinates, um, and I do that all on Google Sheets. I'm going to show you how I, how I do that. But, but first, I want to make sure I have everything in here, and if I don't, I have to go find it where it is here in the studio. Um, most of this is packed, I'm more than positive. But, uh, let's find out. I'm gonna start with camera stuff first. Alrighty, so first things first, I'm gonna go to Google Sheets. Here. Uh, okay, there we go. I'm gonna go to my packing list, and I'm gonna show you exactly how I make this here at the end. I just wanna make sure I have everything. Um, okay, so I, I have some stuff here. I'm just gonna go through all the camera stuff. Okay. Let's get out the video. Open it up. Okay. Two ADDs. Well, this one is the one I vlog with, and the other one is here. So I can. It says no because at first I didn't do this, but now it says yes. Okay. The Lumix. Lumix is here. Yes. Two tripods. Not packed yet. I'm using one there. Let me go grab the other tripod. Okay, so I can actually say yes to this. Camera coupler. That's the thing I plug into the wall. I see it right here. Yes. GoPro 7. GoPro 7. Yes. GoPro 8. GoPro 8, yes. Um, so one thing while I, I, I do all this pack test for every tour that I go on, it's, it's obviously di slightly different for every tour. Um, GoPro accessories. Um, my one rule is while I'm checking the packing list, I might have to unpack some stuff. Because I want to be able to physically, like right now I'm looking for GoPro accessories. I want to physically touch the GoPro accessories. Um, me saying it out loud, even if I'm not filming, I'll, talk it out, I'll say it out loud. I will make sure I say GoPro accessories, I go find them. I touch them, I know right where they are, and it kind of builds that memory and like, did I pack that? So you don't like second doubt, doubt yourself. So I go through and find all the GoPro accessories and I give it all a quick touch. So I do have all that. And was that all for, ah, uh, here's the rest. Okay, so while I do the rest of this, let's do a time lapse. Okay, so I did have to add some stuff that I packed that I did kind of last minute packing. It wasn't on a list, but the band either asked me to bring it or I felt like we might have needed it. So I put it on a list for, for a very specific reason. I'll, I'll share here in a little bit. Okay, so this case is all accounted for. Everything I know that's in here is now also on my list with a yes or no whether it's in here or not. Okay, uh, just double checking it. Okay, so I can now 
This one can go put, get put away, which is right here. This with it. The next is audio slash tech. And this one we might have to do in two parts. Here's why. Um, okay, so one of my lights here is on, so let's not have that happen. Do that. Okay, so right now this is all like tech stuff, guitar tech, stage tech kind of stuff. Um, so one Pelican case is just video, one Pelican case is like audio and tech. Um, okay, so. Oh, and then I have the other Pelican case, which my laptop's holding up right now, which I'm going to do secondary. All right, so let's go through all the mics to make sure I have all my mics. Let's do that first. Extra wire cutters. Are those in here? Those are not. Got to grab those. Extra wire cutters. Okay, so it looks like they are packed. Oh, I know this is on a list. Let me grab this. Let's see. Okay, so I grabbed this and I do see my extra wire cutters. It was just in the wrong box. So that will go here. I'll put this in here actually. So extra wire cutters, we say yes to. Extra strap, that's an extra guitar strap. Should be here or, oh, I see it right there. It said yes, zip ties. Uh, let me go grab some zip ties because I know those are not in here. Okay, got zip ties just in case. I don't need a lot, I just need some. 15 XLRs, I counted those last night and those are ready to go, so I'm not gonna pull those out. Colossal cables, I got two, yes, rack tuner. I'm bringing a rack tuner so when I tune it, I don't have to rely on just one like clip-on tuner. I have a whole rack to go. So I'm actually going to pull that out of the guitar rack that's back in there. Um, let me do that one last. I'll do that one last, so I'll leave that. Guitar boat is not ready to be packed yet, so I'm going to say keep that one as no. Clip tuner, I actually just touched it, so yes. Tech kit. This is the whole tech kit that's ready to go. A long IEC, that's an international electrical connector, I believe that's what it's called. Not packed yet, but I'm going to grab that while I do the uh, rack tuner. Uh, Megami cable. Nope, actually, actually, I pulled that out already. Okay. So now I say yes to this. Black and white gaff tape. Let's grab that. Okay, got those, so I can say yes. Power extension cables, which are up there. I'll grab those here in a little bit. The Audix D6, gotta grab that. That's for the kick drum. I'll grab that now, actually. Okay, so the Audix D6 is in this drum right here. I have to go underneath the table to grab it. Acquired. Okay. Audix D6. Yes. iPad, I'll pack that tomorrow. The two long chargers I'll pack as well. Later with like my clothes and stuff. Okay, so everything else is packed, ready to go. All I need to do is the rack tuner, which I'm gonna pack in with my clothes. It's just the easiest way to pack it. Let's grab the rack tuner. Okay, so uh, I got two rack tuners right here. I'm probably gonna take this Rocktron one. It has a little screen and I can select uh, standard, drop D. Like I can select different tunings, which is kind of nice. Um, which would be really easy and helpful for this gig. So I'm gonna bring this one. Uh, unless, this is the first time it's ever been pulled out the rack since it's put in. 
So let's pull this out of the rack and hopefully all goes well. Uh, turn it off and we're going to start unscrewing. And I'm only going to unscrew a little bit, not all the way as of quite yet. I do it just as a safety precaution. I'm going to put these, once this rack comes out, one of the, once this unit is out, these screws will go back in the holes on where they came from, so I know exactly where they are, and I don't lose them. Alright, so I know this is obviously plugged in in the back, so I might have to... Might have to remove some stuff in order to get it, but I think I can just do that. There we go. Alright, let's see. Here. So I'm going to leave these connectors out so it's easier, easier to find them. This is the rack unit. And I'm going to put the screws in the exact holes that, that they came out of as well. This connector right here. This connector right here is what's called an IEC. Uh, I'll pop up the name on exactly what it stands for. I think it's like International Electrical Cable Connector Cable, something like that. Anyways, uh, it, it, literally these you could find any one of these types of plugs, plug them in and you're good. And I'm more than positive I have a, a long one that I want to bring. Is this it right here? Aha! It's my really long one that I'm going to bring. So, long IEC, rack tuner, we're ready to go. Let me put this back. Rack tuner, long IEC. So, long IEC I can say yes to, and rack tuner I can say yes to. Okay, and now I need the extension cable, which I'm just going to move some stuff out of the way. I'm just going to put this here. I'm going to move this. I just need to grab some extension cables. Okay, so before I can show you how to do a packing list, I gotta finish up packing, which, let me explain. So, what these guitars are in, like, like this here, like to, for me to do this, I'm not bringing the guitars, I'm just bringing, and this is not called a stand, this is what's called a guitar boat. Um, so, this boat is coming with me, but not the guitar, so I'm just gonna have the guitars kind of laid out on the couch. So, this, again, this is a guitar boat. This, this here, this is a guitar stand. This is like a $40 stand. Um, but I'm just bringing, just bringing the guitar boat. So, all these guitars I have to leave. I have to unplug it. That power, that light in there, I put in myself. Um, so, this, this has got to go with that stuff. <laughs> Well, that hasn't left there since actually the summer. See, you see, you can tell, huh? Um, guitars are all out. I have to. I don't can you even see that. I have to restring the 12 string, which which sucks. But now this is almost everything I'm taking. Just gotta pack clothes. I mean, this camera, the laptop. That's about it. But. Now let me go over exactly how I make the list so I just have to add that I've packed that. 
Okay, right now I'm going to show you exactly how I make my, my list here, exactly what I'm doing, and uh, what my list looks like now. Okay, so this here, let me move the camera instead of having to do screen record, it's, let me just do that. Okay, so this here is my packing list. Um, so you see here it says yes, and then here it says no, and everywhere else it says yes. How I do that is I don't type it in. If, if you see here, I actually have a drop-down menu, words with yes or no in it. Um, obviously, if it hasn't even started to be packed, I won't even press no. I will just say it's, obviously, I haven't even started. But some stuff that I've started, I'll press, I'll say no if it's not in yet, but I'm, I'm working on it. So, this is, this here's all my loadout pages, so... Uh, or my load in, so when I get to the venue, I'll know exactly what I have. When I'm leaving San Antonio, when I'm coming back home, I'll use my load out page, which is an identical copy of load in, except I repeat the process here. This here are my selectors. Now let me show you how this works. Let's say I have, let's say item 50 is, I don't know, let's just call it fun. So did I pack fun? Uh, let's say I say no, right? It's not gonna, re it shouldn't repeat it here, right? Because it's, it's totally different. Um, but it gets bigger, so I can see that it's clearly a no. But when I go yes, it gets small again, and it says, I, I packed it. How do I set this up? Well, I use, I use a thing called, uh, I think it's called data verification. Let me see. Uh, data, yep, yeah, data verification. So basically... I'm going to take a, let me just do this for demonstration. Okay, so right now I just deleted some so I can show you how I do it. Okay, so another thing is if you highlight it, press, literally press the delete button and it goes away. Okay, so let's say I have stuff from, let's say, let's say 51 to 100, right? I know I'm going to fill that up. I can literally just select these and select it so I just shift, I just press where I start, want to start and shift and then press where I want to end. So right now if I go to data verification, so that's data under and then data verification, uh, you see here, right here is what I want, uh, where it says list from a cell range. Now I, uh, I actually will delete this. I go to my selectors. These are the things I'm selecting on my side here. So I call them selectors. I will so highlight my selectors data verification it's just easier to copy and paste the cell range um, I just know because I know that's how this program likes to read it so I'll copy and paste it go back to my my page here data verification and I will select it under criteria select from a range I select this I go here and now you see all these arrows pop up these arrows now are these yes or no from my selector page this is how I set up my my load in and my load out page for that matter um, to get everything ready to go so I can just do this. The other thing I can do is just put the letter Y and it'll give me another thing. If you have a huge list, I have a... Uh... Okay, I'm gonna have to like censor some of this stuff because this was from a client. But, okay, so this, I was doing some tech inventory for, for a client. This is part of it and uh, here it's different buildings on that client's property selectors I have here if you see here under selectors I have these icons right these the these lock icons these lock icons mean that I'm the only one that can change them so I'm the only one that can can lock these in I also have up here these are what's called frozen so um so these will stay no matter where you are um, but I have it set up where I can put the manufacturer as whatever the model as whatever and then I select my category you see here it says stage, or let's say it says uh, computer, video, audio, lighting, network, electrical, stage, slash, set. Let's say it goes stage, slash, set. I can just put an S and it'll suggest that. So let's say that's what it is. My quantity, let's say I have two of them. Serial numbers, whatever the serial number was. Uh, this was from the client themselves, so we don't need to do that. This is the location on the client's property where it was. Uh, I'm going to have to censor that. Um... The room, what room it's in, in that building. I have every single room, room um, in every building uh, labeled right here. Is it broken? It's easy yes or no. I showed you how to do that. 
And then this here, the, these are the, the values. So I can, so the condition, so let's say estimated value, right? Replacement value, value with value condition. So what that means is if the condition is great, so if it's five, it'll it'll be the same price. If it's one, it goes down, I, I think this was by 20%, or uh, yeah, 20, 20%. So, so that's how I have this set up. So this here is how I have this set up. So everything I need to see is at a, is at a glance. Now I have these set up, and I, all I do is I just color them with this, and it's only colors that I can see, and they're always light colors like this. So loadout is an identical copy of my load in, and selectors is, well, what I'm selecting. Man, I haven't opened this in forever. Okay, anyways, so that's how I, I, I do my, my spreadsheets and my sheets, so when I go out on tour, I know exactly what I have, how much I have of what, so when I come back, I should have all that stuff. If I bought stuff on a tour, it'll go on a list. But it's to make sure every, everything's accounted for and everything's ready to go for the next night or to come back home, for, to come back here at the studio to set things back up. Yo, can you give me like five minutes? So that's exactly how I do everything. That, that, that is the, the setup, that is how I, how I do this. So hopefully that was helpful. If, you're, if you want to do just for your family vacation, feel free. If you go on a tour, you're going out to a gig and you want to make sure you have everything, it's the easiest way I know how. What's also nice is you can share that with a team or with other people working with you or your family and everyone else can select it and you can lock stuff off so they can't do certain things without the master password. It's also an app on your phone, which is nice. So, so that's exactly how I'm doing this all. Um, hopefully that was helpful and I'll see you guys tomorrow for a travel episode. Going to San Antonio to do a gig for a band.